either have it done or not done at all come close to them you literally start choking yourself the thing about confidence is nobody knows whether it's true or not radiate beauty for the world to see hi my loves and welcome to my channel welcome to another episode of girl talk with p so we are going to be talking about things that i feel like would help you become instantly more beautiful attractive and basically just increase your appearance without much effort so i wrote down a bunch of things that i know that just helps you elevate your looks just makes you feel and seem more appealing to other people the first thing on my list is smelling nice there's just something about somebody that when you're close to them or when they walk into the room whatever the case may be they just bring in this fragrant and they smell absolutely amazing imagine somebody looking good looking very nice when you look at them like physically and then when you come close to them you literally start choking because of their odor or what is oozing out of them or just something like that so smelling nice is just one of the ways that can make you instantly more attractive and all of that good stuff there are some people example me that would actually start to feel a person more or start to actually draw closer to a person just because of how they smell so if you smell nice i would absolutely want to be around you want to know what perfume you're using and stuff like that you don't have to use expensive perfumes in order for you to actually smell good that's just an excuse deodorants are not expensive aside like locking up your sweat and all of that they're also very very cheaper dupe perfumes of designers that are out there in the market aside dupes of designers there are other really really nice fragrances out there that are very 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 affordable you get perfumes for as low as 800 naira and trust me they will last even if you don't want to get like all the sprays mist and stuff like that you can actually invest in oil perfumes they are proven to last more long than the regular mist and stuff like that buy oil perfume there are ones as well as 1200 naira that would honestly really really serve you so if you're not using that you can use like pocket perfumes instead just make sure that you're retouching how you smell and you look good and you seem more attractive to other people another thing i have on my list is self-care have you ever gone into the bathroom and then you just take your time to like wash every inch of your body i'm talking about like in between your fingers in between your toes like literally everywhere the back of your ears like every single place you just wash it you're like squeaky clean like if i rub you you literally feel like a back of a very neat spot exactly those are one of the ways to help you feel more attractive you know the thing about beauty and stuff like that it just it has to start from within it has to start from you you have to feel pretty you have to feel attractive for other people to be able to see it so technically you're going to be attracted how you're feeling so imagine that you've had such a clean bath you've exfoliated that's another point exfoliated so you've had such a long bath you exfoliated all that dead skin is out of your body and you're so refreshed and clean you would automatically like be shining on a new layer of skin and that automatically makes you more attractive there's something about being neat that makes you yourself person the body and stuff like that it makes you more excited now with that you carry yourself with that excitement that beauty you apply your makeup is layered in like properly look extraordinarily beautiful when you feel attractive like that and you just feel good about yourself there is no way another person would not see the glow appreciate your beauty and stuff like that so self-care exfoliating and all of that is just one of the ways that help you look and feel more attractive instantly another point that i have is wearing lip gloss let nobody let no man let no woman make you underestimate the power of putting on lip gloss trust me you can look like a mess like a literal hot mess and then you put lip gloss on you put a bun and something like that and you automatically look cute like lip gloss just has a way of making you look extra attractive in fact there's just something about be moisturized let's just put it like that moisturize lips and all of that just has a way of making you look more attractive so don't blame those people that always have like a lot of lip gloss in their bag trust me lip gloss is magic lip gloss is a changer i have lip gloss on now and i look so cute although i have like makeup on and stuff like that but then lip gloss honestly elevates how you look instantly another thing that can instantly make you look more appealing attractive and beautiful 
is dressing comfortably this is a point that i'll keep raising in any video that needs me to raise it because something is in your size does not mean that it is for you you've seen somebody and you're like oh well, this would have been better if you were more slimmer or if you were much fatter or something like that do not dress just because you like an outfit dress because it suits your body that way you're more comfortable when you're comfortable other people can see when you're uncomfortable it's visible to everybody when you're walking you keep drawing down your skirt keep checking if your your hair is open your hair is open your this place is closed and all of that you automatically look uncomfortable you look like a damn self in distress and i feel like dressing comfortably just makes you look more attractive and beautiful because then you're not worrying about what you're supposed to be pulling down you're not worrying about what you're supposed to be closing and stuff like that but always dress like you came up from a house that had a mirror in it when you dress and then you're pulling and all of that it just makes people wonder like did you not have a mirror did you not see that this was going to be open before you stepped out of your house and now you're outside in a public place drawing this down putting that in and all of that don't always make sure that you're dressing comfortably that way you're instantly more attractive and beautiful Another point is have your nails done or don't have it done at all. Look at my nails. I don't have them done, but then I filed them, I cut them and stuff like that. It's better that it looks like this than their their cheap nails. Like you have nail polish, but it's all chipped. Black nail polish is just cheap. Some places are there, some places are not there. No, either have it done or not done at all. So you either go for your acrylics or whatever you want to go for personal nails, whatever the case may be. But then having your nails done. Either leaving them naturally or having them done manicure wise and stuff. Manicure, pedicure. Yeah, manicure, pedicure. Doing either of that just makes it look good. But then having chipped nails, like your feet is chipped, your hand is chipped, all your nails are just chipped, they are old cortex and everything. You know, that automatically makes you look really, really tacky. So make sure that it's either all off or it's in like just ensure that it's in nothing is missing and stuff like that so these are things that i feel like make you look automatically more pretty i don't have my nails done but then imagine that i had like some of it done and then some other parts not done or i had this face this not face this thing it just doesn't make me look nice enough so always make sure that your nails are either done properly or they are not done at all but then your natural nails are being made cute just make them look nice cut them file them make just ensure that they look good you see some people they still have their natural nails but then there's a lot of dirt inside don't do that if you're trying to make yourself look more attractive and beautiful and all of that good stuff just always make sure that you look neat hand wise feet wise whatever wise just make sure that your fingernails and your toenails and all of that stuff they are done and they are done nicely style your hair this is something that i'm honestly trying to get around with just like you guys already know the whole girl talk thing they're not things that are really like mastered they're all growing together and you know becoming better women together but getting your hair style takes you to another level some of you might just be seeing this kind of like hair on me for like the third time on this entire channel but then like having your hair done just takes it to a whole new level being natural and having your natural hair on is cute and all of that i do it a lot but there's some days that you just call lazy hair days bad hair days you pack your hair like this your hair decides to go like this. you like the hair decides to go like this and then you just come out and sometimes your hair is just all over the place and stuff like that you look like tacky this is something i'm guilty of call my name this is something i'm actually very very guilty of but then like having your hair done braids weaving whatever choice you decide to make just puts you together it just makes you look like you care about yourself you care about how you look you care about how you see yourself before you care about how other people see you as well so it's either you're having your hair styled and you're styling it properly every single time or you have it braided weaved it whatever the case may be but then just having your hair done having your hair looking neat is just one way to make yourself look more attractive and beautiful instantly another point attached to this is having your edges done if you have like baby hairs and stuff like that always make sure that they are done very neatly and nicely i'm not talking about doing your baby hair so like it's, it's, it's almost like your eyebrow on top of your eyelash and stuff like that that makes no sense ridiculous um baby hairs adult hairs that makes no sense always make sure that you look like really nice look presentable enough look like somebody you would want to approach okay yeah always make sure that you're getting your beauty sleep there's something about a well-rested face like somebody that you know that they have slept me today i have slept and it is evident it's showing i look bright my eyes look good like i look 
really nice but then when you don't sleep enough you're stressed out you have like your eye bags going on everything is just like all over the place no matter how you try to put yourself together you always show that your cheating nature by not sleeping enough so try as much as you can to get your beauty sleep just take out some time rest i know we're all busy doing lots of things and stuff like that but honestly take out some time lay down rest sleep yeah. sleep and avoid stress that way you can look more healthy and look more attractive and beautiful stay moisturized i'm going to tell you a quick story one time i hopped into the shower and then i came out i applied olive oil like i just took my time i applied olive oil on my body and my face and then my friend was like you look new and that comment although it was funny it was actually really very true when i looked at myself in the mirror i did actually look revitalized i looked very moisturized my skin was plumpier and stuff like that so stay moisturized in and out i'm talking about like drinking a lot of water i'm currently on cooking bad detox right now like just doing things to make sure that you have a lot of water in your system because you're a lot of water you on your own you're plenty of water so always make sure that you're moisturized apply your cream don't go out with with your elbow looking so ashy your knuckles looking ashy everywhere is looking ashy around you please always make sure that you're moisturized moisturize your feet before you put on your slippers your sandals your heels whatever the case may be just always make sure that you're moisturized your face is moisturized everything is moisturized moisturize yourself moisturize your body and all of that good stuff sealing the moisture just make sure that your skin is generally like shiny looks neat and all of that good stuff this is one way that i feel like it is actually like instantly possible to make you look like very much attractive and beautiful to other people just imagine that you see somebody they look nice actually dressed like really nice but then like you look at their feet and it's just white it's white like it's hamatan in their own world and stuff like that do you find them appealing or beautiful or interesting and stuff like that so if you're trying to be more attractive appealing and beautiful and all of that remember be attractive first to yourself before you can be attractive to other people never forget that here we are impressing ourselves first before we try to even think of impressing other people so make sure that you look moisturized you're moisturizing your heels firstly because it's important to do so so you don't end up with cracked heels injuries and just random stuff like that so always make sure that you're moisturizing your heels your elbows your knuckles like all of those pieces if you're among these people that your heels always get dry invest in getting that olive oil vaseline or anything of that sort any oil that you like just make sure that you're using oil on your heels this way you're locking in the moisture from your cream and all of that stuff i don't know why i forgot to mention this point first but oral care care for your mouth honestly don't be going out there and then you open your mouth and your mouth is smelling there's just something about somebody they look so nice i've actually experienced this and it was not a good experience the problem with people that have bad oral hygiene is the fact that they don't know how to keep quiet they are always talking and they're always talking right in your face and you as a good person you're there and you don't know what to do always care for your mouth always with your oral hygiene first and make sure that you're brushing your tongue the actual thing that stinks is your tongue so make sure that you're brushing it out and all of that good stuff don't be going out there smelling if you know you have an issue try to fix it and stop traumatizing other people this goes for like the whole body odor thing the whole oral care stuff they are all put together people who have these problems do not actually know that they have these problems and they just go ahead to make life more difficult for other people it may sound funny but then it's not funny until you actually experience it from someone else's end so don't be the reason why somebody is uncomfortable don't be the reason why somebody is unhappy in a particular environment they are in don't be the reason why somebody is literally just keeping quiet and hanging on to god's grace so please always make sure that you're taking care of your mouth your oral hygiene brushing your teeth just make sure that your mouth is not smelling if you feel like you smell weird or funky buy a mint gum there are so many mint gums out there just make sure that you, you smell good when you talk and all of that good stuff that way you're more attractive and appealing to other people there is no way you find somebody who when you open their mouth and speak is literally oozing there's no way you find them attractive no matter how good they look no matter how much jewelry they are wearing how fancy you think they are and stuff like that when they open their mouth it's just like when a lady is so beautiful but then use bag of rice to soak good for her it just doesn't make sense so 
always make sure that you think of your mouth and all of that stuff this is my last point and it's honestly like the most important point in order to feel beautiful more attractive and stuff like that you have to be confident meaning that you have to believe within yourself at first that you're pretty believe within yourself at first that you're beautiful manifest beauty and then it could now be displayed for other people to see so be confident in yourself the thing about confidence is nobody knows whether it's true or not it is confidence and it is it can be a camouflage you can fake it to make it whatever the case may be just always make sure that you're hyping yourself enough that way you're you're feeling more better about yourself if you don't feel better about you how do you expect other people to feel about you so always make sure that you're hyped up always make sure that you feel confident in whatever you're wearing that's why i mentioned points like being comfortable in your clothes because once you're comfortable you can be confident but if you're dragging down your clothes at this end, you're covering this end, how can you be comfortable and how can you then be confident? So always make sure that you're dressed nicely, you're looking good, you're practicing all of these things that I've mentioned. That way you can be more confident in yourself and radiate beauty for the world to see. So my loves, please let me know in the comment section other ways that you feel I could instantly make you feel more beautiful, other things that you do that make you feel more pretty and stuff like that. These are mine and I hope that you learn a thing or two from them. Don't forget to hit the comment section, like, hit the notification bell, subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you in my next girl talk. Okay? Mwah.